Hey guys, if you've ever dealt with jet lag, then you know the struggle. I used to think it was best to sleep as much as I could on the long haul flights that I take for my international commute as a flight attendant. But recently I found an app called Time Shifter, which is supposed to minimize your jet lag. So I decided to test it out during my regular commute from Okinawa to Minneapolis in hopes that it would help me and maybe some of you frequent travelers out there as well. I do have a giveaway in the spirit of the holidays, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for details on that. two days and so this is my test to see if the time shifter app works they do a free one time shift to see if you like it and then you can pay annually or pay per trip so if i like it i might buy the subscription i also just do this route all the time i probably could write down all of the tips that it says and i am taking a flight on thursday we'll see how it goes It's the earliest I've gone to bed in a long time. Good morning. I'm up. It is 6.15. It is so dark still. Luckily, I have bright lights in my house and we can adjust the color temperature and it says try to get like the bright, cool blue light. All right, so far today's kind of like a normal day. Just woke up a lot earlier than normal and I was so tired this morning. I was in bed for eight and a half hours, almost nine hours, but my body just did not get deep sleep, which is really weird because I did take that melatonin. So hopefully I can get, get to sleep early tonight and yeah, and wake up early feeling refreshed. Made it to Minnesota. Goal is to make it till 10 p.m. tonight and then wake up at 7 a.m. And then if this works, I will be really pumped. We have Chris as a variable. Chris did not follow any kind of plan. He slept a lot of the flight, didn't time his caffeine. He's just been like doing what he feels. I think it'll be nice, a nice comparison to see like how my sleep gets on track versus his um, without doing a plan. So we'll see. Woke up a little earlier than, than we were supposed to. He woke up at like two. Wait till noon rolls around. Off to San Antonio. While I didn't adhere strictly to every recommendation that Time Shifter gave me, I did notice a significant difference. 
What was most difficult for me to follow was sleeping through the meal service. Time Shifter told me to sleep right away. And because there's a lot of noise during the meal service and I didn't want to buy food at the airport, I decided to sleep right after the meal service. The second tough thing was Time Shifter told me to see bright light about halfway through my long haul flight. So I did wake up. I tried to go to the bathroom and like view light that way. But when it came to turning on the light at my seat, literally the whole plane was sleeping. And so I just wasn't going to be that person. I think if I was sitting up front, I would have probably turned on the lights or felt more comfortable doing so. But because I was in a middle seat, it just wasn't going to happen. When I land stateside, normally I struggle and I wake up really early. I'm not getting a full night's sleep. I need to take naps throughout the day. And it's just really hard to get back on track. When I used time shifter after two days after landing in the U S I surprisingly felt like I was back on track. Now, one of the team things that I loved about time shifter was its flexibility because I work in the airline industry. I'm flying standby. By, and so a lot of times I have to change my route. And so my plan was to fly from Okinawa to Tokyo and then over to the States, but it looked a little bit better seating wise to go via Seoul. And so I was able to just edit my route within the time shifter app and it just adjusted all of the personalized suggestions for me. I didn't have to delete and then redo a new time shift. So it was really cool that if your flight is delayed or something, it will completely adjust for you, which I thought that was awesome. Now, is it worth it to buy it? For me, given that my main commuting route is where I really needed the most help, I decided not to purchase the full version. But now that I'm actually back in Okinawa, I didn't use the app for my return trip. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish that I had. Now that it's been four days, I feel like I'm back on track, but it would have been nice to make that a little bit of a quicker transition. But I think if you are a frequent traveler or you're pan planning a significant journey, the benefits could definitely outweigh the cost. It's only $25 a year. I think it could be especially helpful if you have multiple trips planned or a really challenging travel schedule. I have a feeling that I probably will be purchasing the app in the future. And then hopefully I can just save all my time shifts within the app, which will hopefully cover the routes that I take most frequently. So for the giveaway, I feel like I've tried pretty much every travel pillow out there. I used to have the turtle pillow, the one like on the side, the U-shaped pillow. And most recently I've been using the sleeper hold. I really did like the turtle pillow, but I left it on a plane and I just never bought a second one. I'm not a big fan of the U-shaped ones because I like to usually like listen to a podcast and wear my over the ear headphones and it just like pushes too much. It's just not very comfortable. I bought a sleeper hold. This is it. You put the pillow behind your knee neck. First, you set up the strap. It goes around the headrest. There is a video on YouTube that you can watch to see the setup. It basically, it holds this eye mask with the pillow, it like takes off that pressure from your neck. I've really enjoyed it so far. There's a few minor things that I don't like. I hate that you have to like set it up, but that's how it works basically. You do have to wrap this around the seat behind you. And when there's someone else there, it's just kind of awkward. Even if they don't have a screen and it doesn't get in their way, it's just a little weird, but you know, if it means you're gonna sleep, then whatever. I did use this on my flight from Tokyo to Okinawa. I didn't even think to film it just because I was so exhausted. I'm not gonna lie, I slept the whole freaking time with this thing on. Uh, the only other thing that I'm not a huge fan of, but still it's not a deal breaker for me, the eye mask, which is super soft. I absolutely love that, but there's no like eye cups for you. So for anybody that cares about their lashes and don't wanna like get them pressed down, I feel like it would have been a little bit elevated of a product if they had like the eye cups. I do have an eye mask like that. I can link it down below, but I think this is really cool. It is really comfortable um, overall. Yeah, that's the sleeper hold. So I think this is gonna be my new travel pillow now. So for the giveaway and in the spirit of the holidays, I wanna thank one of my followers this season by gifting a sleeper hold. Not sponsored, but I wanna share it with you. So just thumbs up this video and then comment below, maybe a good jet lag tip that you have or where your next dream destination will be and somewhere that you can maybe use the sleeper hold for. I will be choosing someone on January 1st. I hope you enjoy this video and it helped a little bit. Let me know if you try time shifter out yourself and I will see you guys in the next one. Safe travels.